So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a secret email. This is West Virginia University and West Virginia Extension Day at the uh, state capitol. But we just thought we'd do kind of a man and woman on the street, get out, find out what's going on. So anyway, email at the state capitol. Let's go. Uh, this is my gee mail. I'm oh, gonna... I watched gee mail to learn how to tie my bow tie today. Oh, did you do yes, it? Yes, I did. did. We have some good WV alums down here, and that's why we're doing such good that, work. That's right. How are you? Good to see you. So you guys all from Monroe County, are you? Yes, yes, sir. Great. Well, I'm the president of West Virginia University. Good to see you guys. Here we are with the youngest legislator in the country, Sarah Blair, who happens to also be a West Virginia University student. Why aren't you in class? Well, I kind of skipped a semester. <laughs> I know, isn't that great? This is uh, worth a thousand classes in so many ways. Uh, such an opportunity for you. How is the legislative side of this going? It's going really well. We have done a lot. Um, we stay really busy. We work some really long days and um, we have. We've been pushing through a lot and um, I'm really proud. I'm proud of what we've accomplished so yeah. far. Tell me a little bit about Adventure West Virginia, okay? Our goal today is just to uh, show some of the students, especially 4-H, some of the opportunities we have. Um, one thing that we're doing is combining um, science, the STEM initiative, with these outdoor activities. So climbing, zip lining, um, mountain biking. We've developed a curriculum around the science behind those. Don't you think everyone should have this kind of an experience? Absolutely. Not necessarily. Not, not look at me. Not everyone should be climbing mountains, but everyone should have something akin to this. Some kind of Just a some kind of community team building. building experience, right? How many times do you wear a bow tie? Uh, every time you come in. <laughs> <laughs> and do, do, who takes more selfies, me or you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I believe that I'm second place to okay. that. So, let's just ask the question. Would you guys vote for me for governor? Absolutely. In a second. <laughs> yes. Okay, right answer. They, they're, they're all going to get a great degree, <laughs> as a matter of fact. Let me tell you something. We're interviewing a tuition-paying father. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, Kate, Katie just graduated. Katie just graduated. Are you out of debt yet? Uh, not quite. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We, 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 are privileged, we are privileged to be with the uh, Speaker of the House, uh, Speaker Armstead, who is doing a great job here. Uh, we just had a proclamation from the governor uh, celebrating West Virginia and West Virginia Extension Day. Um, great day for the university. Oh, it, it is. Uh, you know, we're so proud of everything the university is doing. And, uh, you know, uh, you've got great programs, your extension services out all over the state. So, you know, let's go about nearest. The engines of the state are our students, mm -hmm. and um, the universities producing those students really mm -hmm. produce the jobs of the future. So higher education is an absolute imperative. So tell me, how are you enjoying this? I love this. This is exciting. In our public system, we have about 280,000 lives that depend on us and to make good choices for them, So, and a lot of those are our 4-Hers. Um, and then our university system, I'm a proud graduate of WVU and happy to fly the blue and gold flag any chance I get. Guess what we're doing? What are we doing? We're, we're down here doing secret gmail. Don't tell anyone, okay? okay. <laughs> and, and so I've, I've hijacked some students here, the real heroes of the university. So tell me what you're doing down here. I'm trying to fight against um, cuts to higher education and it's so important we're all about to graduate but we think it's very important to reach back and help the next generation because these cuts are going to affect them not only next year but the next upcoming years as well. You could be president of the university you sound just like one. Doesn't <laughs> that so ladies and gentlemen we have had fun. Uh, what a great day. We've had an opportunity to see um, our legislature in action and we're grateful for the good work that they're doing to see our great extension folks in action and to see the many uh, supporters and friends of the university celebrating West Virginia University and West Virginia University Extension at the state capitol. This is Gordon Gee signing out. <laughs>